Hello, geometry scholars. Uh, my name is Mr. Benzel, and um, I am the geometry teacher at here in high school. Uh, before we go into today's notes, I want to go through uh, some of the notes taking uh, best practices reminders. So one thing that I think is really good that Mrs. Stahl mentioned last time was to leave space on the side uh, to write questions that you have as they come up. Uh, another thing that I like is highlighting important content. So if you see things like definition or postulate or theorem, those are really important things because they tell you exactly how to set up the problem. And also another important thing is the diagrams and the notation. So uh, it's important to connect how the letters translate into the pictures. Um, and it's a lot more than just like the, the one and two step and algebraic equations uh, that accompany them. So today's lesson is called the segment addition postulate. And uh, what the segment addition postulate basically tells us is that you can add uh, two distances together to get a larger distance. So like if I were to travel from um, here to Columbus, Ohio, where I'm from, maybe I stop 30 miles into the trip uh, at Culver's and get a burger in Greenfield, so that's 30 miles, and then I go 150 more miles to Columbus. And if I add those two distances, uh, then I can get the total distance. And the segment addition postulate uh, was presented in the original geometry book that was written thousands of years ago called Euclid's Elements. So Euclid took a bunch of facts that he took to be true and developed a system of measurement uh, that we know today as geometry. All right, so a few uh, vocab words that I think are really important to put this lesson into context. Uh, so the idea of a postulate, uh, so these are rules uh, that are accepted without proof. Let me just make sure I got my pen here. So accepted without proof. Uh, so we take these statements to be true. And rules that have uh, to be proven are known as theorems. All right, uh, so what the rule of postulate says, uh, basically, is uh, that you can measure distance. and that the distance is always positive. So it's called ruler postulate because, um, you know, we use rulers often to measure distance. Uh, so we have in this class, uh, you cannot have a negative distance. Uh, so here's what I mean by this. So I may have like a number line and Maybe I put point A at 2 and point B at 5. And I can actually count um, what the distance is. So I go 1, 2, 3, and that distance is 3. So that's the main thing that I like you to um, take away uh, from the ruler postulate. Uh, but where we're going to get interesting is uh, what's known as the segment addition postulate. Uh, so what this tells us, um, let's say that we have a point B that's between A and C. And I'm just going to, um, in my picture here, uh, chunk the A to the B and the B to the C. So if B is between A and C, AB, so 
So that's the section from A to B plus BC equals to the distance, the total distance from A to C. Kind of like that Columbus trip that I told you about. So I like to stop in Greenfield to get a quick burger at Culver's. Uh, so it doesn't make a difference if I stop there or not. I'm still going to be traveling uh, the same distance. And this is the segment addition postulate in action. So let's actually take a look now at some sample problems. So speaking of Columbus, I like to think of my Columbus trip uh, for this next problem because um, I uh, had a good friend in grade school named Paul. Uh, so Paul and I, uh, we lived in the same neighborhood and we would travel to each other's houses and sometimes go to a place in between and have, um, we, we played in this grassy strip um, that was kind of park-like between our house and we called it like an island meeting, you know, when we hunt out there. So I just imagined myself in this problem doing that. So maybe I'm at my house. So don't laugh when I draw. I'm about stick figure level. And Paul is at his house. And then in the middle here, we have like our meeting place. So we meet. And here's the island. All right. So it says that one person, so maybe me, I walked 578 feet. And then Paul walked 498 feet. So what the segment addition posture basically tells us to do is it tells us to just add up the two line segments. So I could just add 578 plus 498 to get a total of 1,076 feet. Uh, so this is a numerical level uh, segment addition postulate problem uh, with no algebra. So one of the delta math assignments that I'm going to give you is just the numerical segment addition postulate. So this tells me, do you know uh, what the segment addition postulate is? Now, we are high school students, so I'm going to expect that you are going to be able to use algebra. So let's take a look at the next example. Uh, so the next example, it says, suppose J is between H and K. So if this is looking uh, kind of lettery uh, to me, uh, what I really consider doing is just kind of underlining that because that's kind of important. So we need to use the segment addition postulate to solve for x and then find the length of each segment. So this to me looks like a bunch of letters. So let's actually take the advice that I said earlier and actually see what this looks like in a diagram. And we can get a visual of this problem and make it look much easier. So I have a point H and a point K. And then I'm going to put J between H and K. So HJ, um, I'm going to mark in in my picture. It tells us uh, that HJ is 2X plus 4. And I'm just going to show where that started and where that ended. And it tells us that JK is 3x plus 3. And then it tells us that the total distance from K to H is 22. So I like to kind of think about this as the sum of the parts equals to uh, the whole. Now, one step that uh, people kind of like to gloss over sometimes is actually just writing down the line segments that they add. I like to include this step because this is going to help us understand things like proofs a little bit later and understand, you know, what the symbols are trying to communicate. So I write first HJ plus JK equals to KH. So I'm put in HJ. So HJ is 2x plus 4. And JK 
is 3x plus 3. And kh is 22. And there I have it. I have a multi-step equation, just like you've seen in like an Algebra 1 class uh, that you can solve. Uh, if you're forgetting about like combining like terms, I like to, uh, you know, maybe underline or, or put a circle under my x's just to kind of remind me of the terms that I like to combine. Uh, so I have 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x, and then 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 for a total of 22. I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides. And I'm going to then divide by 5, and I get that x is equal to 3. All right. Good. Uh, so we've done this algebra, and we got x. We're done. Right? Well, not quite. You need to really make sure uh, that you are reading the question. So it says, then find the length of each segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take x and do something with it. So hj is equal to 2 times 3 plus 4. That's 10. And then jk is equal to 3 times 3 plus 4, which is equal to 12. And if we add those two things up, and this is why we like to find the length of each segment so we can actually check our work, we get that it is a total of 22. So even if it does not say uh, find the length of each segment, if, even if it just tells you to solve for x, I always like you know putting that x back into the problem just to see that it's working out and that those two line segments actually do add up. So uh, the next video that we will have uh, today um, will be uh, kind of an extension problem uh, that I will be assigning on Delta Math for everybody, uh, where we're going to be extending the segment addition postulate and also thinking about something that's called a ratio. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you very much.